Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of my survival guide series where today we will prepare for winter which starts on day 21. If you have not seen the first video there will be a link to it in the description as well as some timestamps to specific parts of this video. Enough said, let's begin. Hmm, it seems as though shaving your beard wasn't the smartest idea since we may actually need the insulation during winter. We'll have to craft our own cold resistance, but first let us upgrade our weapon from a flimsy spear to a nice strong handbat. We will need to craft the beefalo hat, and to get that we must first kill, you guessed it, beefalo. Not to worry though, as these guys are easy to fight and have the exact same fighting pattern as qualifants. However, first you must separate one from the herd. Otherwise you might find 50 million beefaloes all targeting you. Simply feed one grass or twigs and he will begin to follow you. Lead him away from the herd and he will be easy to kill by himself. When killed beefaloes drop 4 meat and 3 beefalo hair. And a 33% chance to drop a horn, but in this case he didn't. Time to go on a massive beefalo genocide. And there it is, the beefalo horn. Try not to kill the entire herd, otherwise you might accidentally cause the extinction of beefaloes. If for whatever reason you can't get a beefalo horn, craft a winter hat instead. It is worse than the beefalo hat, but will still get the job done. And there it is, the beefalo hat. Since we don't need it yet, drop it on the floor for now. And while you're at it, craft a thermal stone from the survival tab because this item is very useful for winter. Also, you might want to craft more drying racks, since you probably have way too much meat from killing beefaloes. Next few things I will show you aren't strictly necessary, but will help you survive winter. And since we have 4 days left, I might as well do some of these. First, collect rocks, grafts, or anything you may be short on, since you will need these resources. And if you see any pig houses, be sure to hammer them down. Kill the pig if you're brave enough. If you have any butterflies wings, I recommend you cook the butter muffin because it restores more health than the butterfly by itself. You need one butterfly, one vegetable and two berries. You may have noticed that cooking one thing at a time is kind of slow. So the second thing we can do is craft more crock pots. For that we'll need lots of charcoal, which means a lot of tree burning. Three crock pots you can cook three things at once instead of having to wait. You can add more crock pots if you want, however I usually do not need more than three. The third thing you might consider doing is building bee boxes to harvest honey during winter. First you will need to craft the bug net from the survival tab. Oh for f luckily I had enough silk to actually craft a bug net and this time I managed to do it. Anyway, go find a beehive and catch 4 bees that spawn from it. After that, go destroy the beehive, but be careful as you may be swarmed by killer bees. Now that you have caught 4 bees and destroyed a beehive, use the remaining durability of the bug net to catch 6 butterflies. Once you do that, choose a location far from your base and build the bee box. Surround this bee box with 6 flowers that can be planted from the butterflies you caught. I only built one bee box because I don't have enough time to build more, however you could definitely build more bee boxes if you wanted. Now let's craft the trap so we can catch rabbits. Put the trap over a rabbit hole and then dig it up. Unless the rabbit denies all laws of physics, we will catch a live rabbit. Once you get 4, you'll get enough materials to craft a prestigious hat to tater. I have no idea, Wilson. 
This machine gives you access to the magic tab, which is filled with late game items. This is like the science machine of magic, which means you will need to craft the shadow manipulator to unlock all the recipes. I'll go over more on that in the next episode. But for now, let's craft a tent, because tents are pretty useful, so you can regen your health and sanity to full and keep you completely safe in the dark. Only downside is that it wastes hunger, so make sure to have a full belly before going to sleep. The last thing you can do to prepare for winter is make a pig farm. I do not know who came up with this design originally, however since I always see people building this thing, I thought I'd show it off here. Basically, craft stone walls from the construction tab and surround one pig skin with them. Then big some pig houses around it. The pigs will be so stupid and they will try to walk through the wall to eat the pig skin. Wait a second, once you feel like you have built enough pig houses, feed two pigs pig skin or meat and then get them to attack the rest of the pigs. This will start World War 3 and you'll get free pig skin and meat once they are all done killing each other. Bonus points if you kill the pigs that survived. It is now day 20, which means tomorrow, winter will start. If your berry farm is fully grown, it may be tempting to pick it, but do not pick it. The berries will not grow in winter, so pick these berries once your food supply is low. You may have noticed that the world has a blue tint to it. That is because it is the start of winter, so put your beefalo hat and heat up your thermal stone, because you will need them to survive winter which I will show you in the next video. It shall be out in the next few days after this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.